Hi there, welcome back. This is the second episode of Fishing for Fun. Today, we're gonna see four more expressions with some illustrious voices like Jonathan Price and Leonardo DiCaprio. Just recalling, the phrases we've seen before in the first episode were, oddly enough, jack of all trades, brush upon, and before long. Okay, so let's move on. First one is follow suit, follow suit, follow suit. It means follow the example to do something that someone else is doing or has done. For example, um, the people in front of us began to leave the auditorium and we followed suit. The people in front of us began to leave the auditorium and we followed suit. Next, scratch the surface. Scratch the surface. Scratch the surface. It means to deal with something superficially, not going as deep as you should, or when you're just starting something, or yet when you're working on something but even so, you're not going any further. You're not evolving. Or when something is not enough for a purpose. As you see, we got quite a few meanings for this phrase. So we're going to see two examples. Okay? Number one, there's far more words to be said, but I've only had time to scratch the surface of this talk. There's far more words to be said, but I've only had time to scratch the surface of the stock. And number two, the amount of aid that has been offered is hardly going to scratch the surface of the problem. The amount of aid that has been offered is hardly going to scratch the surface of the problem. Next! Put up with. Put up with put up with, put up with. It sounds strange, doesn't it? It's weird, different. Maybe you're not familiar with the sound, and if it's the case, you can repeat the phrase to yourself as much as you want, okay? Remember my video number seven, named Impressionism? Put up with, put up with, put up with, all right? It means to be patient, to deal with, to endure, to accept, to tolerate someone or something unpleasant. All right? For example, um, I will not put up with their bad behavior any longer. I will not put up with their bad behavior any longer. Next. To each his own. To each his own. To each his own. To each his own. Listen to the blending. To each his own. To each his own. It means people are different. Okay? People are free to like what they like and be as they are. To each his own. That's it. For example, I love rock music. My son loves electronic music, and I hate it. But that's okay. Twitch is on. I love rock music. My son loves electronic music, and I hate it. But that's okay. Twitch is on. Now, turn off the subs, and you know what to do. Fish the words, pal! You're a complete lunatic. Says the man about to destroy Asia. Come on, who's gonna follow suit, huh? Are you really gonna stand by and watch as Earth is destroyed? A boat. You watch. Get him. Recovery moving forward. The Senate did their part. They passed a bipartisan transportation bill. It had the support of 52 Democrats and 22 Republicans. Now it's up to the House to follow suit to put aside partisan posturing, end the gridlock, and do what's right for the American people. 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying and trying, and I'm a student of music, and I'm always working on it, and I feel like I've just scratched the surface of this infinite thing of music. I mean, Bach existed, Charlie Parker existed. I'm not, you know, I'm just a student of music, but I, I believe that too, yeah. Any instrument is a vehicle for expression. Recommended way to protect paintings to make them last longer, and are there any products to be aware of that alter color over time, etc.? This is actually a huge question, um, and we're just going to uh, scratch the surface, if you'll forgive the pun, um, uh, here. Um, for many, many years, uh, there has been this kind of misconception. Wimpy was a lover. He liked affection. So I'd, I'd throw my arms around him every morning and say, who's that big Wimpy? Who's a good horse, that Wimpy? I love him. I'd kiss him. You know, and he would, Wimpy would just, you know, they had the eyes on the side of their head. Yeah. And they would just kind of like look at you like this. You know, those big, deep brown eyes. And I got the distinct family that, that Whippy was deciding whether or not to put up with me today. Sure. You know? Sure. And uh, he, by and large, he did. Janet McTeer, who is uh, an amazing fellow traveler in this whole thing. Um, also, Joan Washington, who is my dialect coach, <laughs> which, as you can imagine, was um, something of a challenge. Uh, and, you know, the, the whole makeup, Laura Bozzelli and Orla Carl and Lynn Johnson and Stefano, the whole crowd. It was a fantastic team effort and it really means an awful lot to me. So I just dedicate this to my wife who had to put up with me when I came home. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I mean, look, I, I've done that to a certain degree myself, but, you know, I think to each his own. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, his level of commitment is just so absolute and he goes home you know, he goes home in character, but, you know, to a certain degree, I'm sure he has to kiss his child and his wife and go to bed. You're an amazing creature, Spider-Man. You and I are not so different. I'm not like you. You're a murderer. Well, to each his own. I chose my path, you chose the way of the hero. And they found you a... And that's all for now, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Keep listening. Keep practicing. See you soon. Stick around. Bye-bye.